all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol pltr and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart but before we dive into this chart i do want to announce the launch of my website i started it this week investfortomorrow.com i'm going to put the link down below in the description and there is a sp short intro video for you guys to go ahead and check it out it gives you a little bit of more insight of what the purpose of the website is and where it's going moving forward now there are a few forums there's the stock picks forum where i will post weekly and monthly stock picks there's the daily watch list where you can go ahead and have access to daily runners according to their momentum one to three times a week and i also have this forum called how to manage the intangible where we will talk about credit what entails with the credit score and how to have better control over that credit score and your credit overall and some tips and tricks now this isn't the only forum other than stocks that will exist there will be more and this is for those of you that want to learn more about other areas of investing and finance and then we have these three here for those of you that want to learn and be paying close attention to these stock picks and just focus on the stock market now the gathering of investors is where investors can come and rendezvous i look forward to as the website expands with obviously members and investors this will be a place to learn and grow together experiences are going to be shared other people's knowledge and investors is going to be shared even my own and we can all gather and discuss and ask questions you obviously have to choose one of the two plans i highly encourage you guys to read over what each one entails and again this is optional and there's the determined investor for those of you just focus on the stock market and advanced investor for those of you that want all that the determined investor has access to and more so check it out look at it look at the disclaimer as well i highly encourage you guys to read it so no one's misled and check out all the things that the website has to offer i will put the link down below and i look forward to building a community of investors where we can all learn and grow together and maximize profits and minimize losses right that's the whole point so that we can make some money so let's jump into pltr stock so it's been in a sideways movement after this slight bullish run here and leveling off but we're still in a bearish trajectory right when you look at it zoomed out we're way below those highs up here of about 33 dollars and 50 cents if you just want to round it in between and break it even 33 dollars and 50 cents was the highest point from that point forward it's been falling and the lowest point reached in that bearish run was down here at about 2116 so i want every single investor to be aware of that and pay close attention to that number i'd write it down for the next coming days and weeks now we're hanging out here in a slight sideways movement and the 50-day moving average has slightly broken through above the price it's 2391 i'd write that down 2391 is our 50-day moving average we are slightly in bearish territory and the tug of war is on so we need to see how this plays out starting next week now support was broken through then it brought itself back up and so forth but we hit some newer lows and that's what we want to look at here based off the last couple hours of the day and also the beginning of the day so the last couple hours of the day we did touch around here at 2361 but at the beginning of the day there was a little bit lower point touched and we want to look at that closely and then i want to talk about the highest point reached before this fell again right so it kind of spiked up here to a high here of about 2446 but it actually leveled off and this was the highest point before it actually fell and ended up slightly below the 50-day moving average which is 2391 and the price right now is 2385 now i do want to emphasize that the bulls need to break through this resistance that we're about to talk about and if they break through that the highest point reached in this sideways movement was up here at 2540 and that is probably one of the most important resistance levels near term for the next coming days and week to see and watch if the bulls can break through that to reach newer highs but before getting to any of those numbers let's go ahead and zoom on in here and see what's important for monday so 
Our support level here is 23.52. If 23.52 gets broken through, this could be on its way down to newer lows, pulling further away from the 50-day moving average, and getting deeper into bearish territory. If it gets broken through, we do have another support here if you want to watch and see the behavior if the bulls are having a chance to reappear, and that's 23.25. 23.25 is one of the points where the bears tried to appear and bring this slowly down, but the bulls continued the momentum. So 23.25 is a good point of reference to watch how this is acting if it breaks through 23.52, and how is it acting between 23.52 and 2325 and are the bulls trying to reappear or are the bears dominating this pulling it down and pulling it further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction now on the other hand we have what the bulls want they want to break through resistance and they need to break through the 50-day moving average so this tug of war like i said is going to be very interesting and we're going to want to watch it really early on in the week next week how the week starts and who starts dominating this chart right now the tug of war is on and the bears are slightly gaining leverage now for the bulls to really pull away from the 50-day moving average and get themselves back into bullish territory and deeper into it to hit newer highs and new resistance levels the bulls need to break through 24 28 turn that into a support and start to reach newer highs and new resistance levels from that point forward so it's going to be very important for the bulls to break through this resistance 2428, turn it into a support, and start to work their way up to newer highs and new resistance levels. So I want to emphasize that the bulls need to break through this 2428 to start to work their way up and pull away from the 50-day moving average and stop the bears from gaining leverage and actually pulling this one down. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. And at the bottom, I will be posting the link down below to the new website that I launched. And I wanna say thank you to all of you guys that have joined and thank you to all of you guys that have stopped by. It is optional, but I highly encourage you guys to go check it out and see for yourselves what it all entails about and what is the prospective movement going forward with the website. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened. And I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets. On these dates, the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here. And I break it down into more detail in the video. But just to summarize it, on these dates, the S&P 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it. Anywhere from 30 cents to $3 per share. I know it may not seem like a lot, but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits. These are profits. And like I always say, profits are profits. Whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back $2, you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with. That's what it's all about. And also in the video, I go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose. Like for example, this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 35.11 and the highest point reached was 35.57. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 35.88 and it rose up to about, I'd say, let's see, this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 36.23. When you do the math, that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this. Now, I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news, on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. You have to do your due diligence and research, 
but these charts and the dates speak for themselves. I mean, this was probably one of the largest jumps that I've seen in the last couple of pumps. And it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 3388. That was an 80-point jump. There was probably ticker symbols rising up more than $3 per share on those dates. And even on these dates, there's individual ticker symbols rising more than $3 per share. Check it out, see for yourselves. And my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index, and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out again. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.